Good morning. Today we're going to talk about um, online reputation management for small businesses and what this means because I, it's a term that gets thrown a lot amongst marketing professionals but may not be commonplace for those who aren't in the marketing world. Is it basically is talking about managing your online information that shows up in directories like Google, Yelp, City Search, and the like, as well as the reviews that people can post about you online. So staying on top of that so you know what information is out there and what people are saying about you, ensuring that it is accurate it is optimized and it is positive and if there is any negative that there's that it's been addressed so the first thing you should do in monitoring your online reputation which it's gonna seem really really simple um, but something I think we don't think enough about and so we tend to forget about is just simply googling your company and you should do this um, at least once a month just to see what's out there see what kinds of things come up when you type in your company name so it's just go to a Google search box enter your company name in and see what comes up um, this will tell you if you've done a good job with your website because obviously if your website's not showing up for your company name search you might need to do a little work on there for that it'll also show you other places your business name appears so online listing services like Yelp um, Google Maps as well as um, social media sites like uh, LinkedIn or Facebook and and it can also give you a sense for how active and how well you're doing on those sites depending on how um, far they show up in the search results so you, as you can see we're pretty active on LinkedIn so that's why this is showing up here whereas our Facebook account may be buried several pages deep so it's also a way you can check um, the success of what you've been doing um, if you're really focused on Facebook but you're not seeing your company name showing up in your the Facebook search results on the first page or two then you may know that you may need to step those efforts up or do something a little differently there um, now you'll see with with our company name because it does derive from an address we also get some kind of funny stuff because we'll get um, home home listings and that sort of thing and you may see some of that mixed information the big thing is is you'd like said you want to see what's coming up for your company name additional searches you may want to do as well besides just the company name you may want to search um, the people within your company especially the principals um, or you may want to um, search for um, if you know that you've had inaccurate information out there for instance we have a wrong phone number floating out online you may actually want to enter that information and search it as well to see what comes up because that will confirm if you're if you've got some place that needs to be fixed or not so for us we have old addresses out there because we've moved a couple times so we could do a search for one of our old addresses and you'll see where the name 910 West comes um, it was from the street ad our original street address and see what comes up for that search um, see if you're seeing something for your company name in here as we've seen it looks like all real estate listing because we did recently sell that property so that's a good thing but if we were seeing like a, a Yelp li listing or a um, city search or one of those a Google map listing that might tell us like see here we've got a Manta listing a directory listing for our company so that's a place that we know we need to go in and fix our information so it's not just searching by the company name but also so um, old addresses or old phone numbers, especially if you know that there was some incorrect information out there, searching for that so you can find where that information might be and be able to correct that as you go by. So that's the first thing you want to do is just do a simple Google search. It's a free tool. It's a very easy way to look and see what information is out there and to track how those changes are filtering through the internet. Um, if you want to get a little bit more fancy with it, um, there's this service called Moz Local and they'll actually help you push um, the edits or the changes to your online listings out to the sites, but one of the things they have is a free listing check where you can actually put your company name in there and your zip code and see how 
it checks um, quite a few of the major sites. There's about 15 or 20 that it checks and will show you how you're showing up. So first it goes and shows you what it finds out there, which you'll see we've actually got two addresses. So that's something, again, where we would want to address that. And we have been working on getting rid of this other address and phone number. But one, it helps you get a sense of what's out there and, and uh, if there are things that need to be corrected. And then you can click on um, and see the results for your search which you'll see here we've got um, it gives us a score so and this these scores aren't always super accurate um, it does take a while for this information as it gets updated to be filtered through the internet so it may show a lower score than you actually have um, but what it is really helpful for is it'll help you to see places where they're thinking that you may have inconsistencies so meaning there may be inaccurate information an old address or it's slightly off or if there are duplicates on there meaning um, you have two listings which we do see quite a bit of so it does give you a nice visual representation of where you're at and where it sees that it thinks you need help. Now in this case, as you can see, it is pretty inaccurate because it's showing that we don't have a Google Plus page, which we do, or a Facebook account or Yelp, which we saw a minute ago when we did that search that there was. So this isn't the Bible in verse necessarily of um, what you're doing, but this can also be a really helpful starting place because it does tell you um, where it sees that you're incomplete. It shows where you're inconsistent as well as duplicates. It'll show you if you have photos or if you have the ability to add more photos to that site um, or change your categories as well as um, it will show when you roll over how many reviews you have if you have them on the different sites. Um, so this is a way that you can quickly track a lot of information, not just where your information's at, but um, some of the extras like photos and categories and um, online reviews. So this can be a, a great little free tool to use um, to help you get a sense of how much work you have cut out for you. So those are two tools for monitoring your online information and ensuring its accuracy because that's the first step. Um, if you want to automate those searches, you can use a service from Google called Alerts, which is fantastic because um, you're able to set up search queries, so for your company name, for instance, and have them run automatically and then just send you an email with the results. So this can be um, great for monitoring for new information if something pops up. I would still recommend doing manual searches, however, um, more to see what shows up in the search results. Again, it's kind of an SEO check and what's on the first page, whereas this is just going to show you what it sees as being new as something being published out there. So if we say everything, um, you can choose how often you want it to check. So you can say once a day, once a week. So if you want it to check your company name once a week, um, you can choose only the best or all of the results and then if you put in an email address it will actually email you those results at the um, at um, the frequency you specified so in this case once a week and you'll see here it gives you a sample of what that search results going to return so now you'll see with mine it's showing a lot of real estate listings because we are using an address so I may not want to receive this update even once a week because I'm going to be getting a whole lot of real estate ones for the company name so this might just not work well but what we could instead search for is for instance my name as a principal in the company and see what new information comes up about me um, over the course of a week. So you can also use this to track not just company names but also your employees and see what kind of information gets posted about them so that way you can be aware if an employee should get into a little trouble over the weekend you're you're aware of that immediately and can get out in front of it or you can also do searches um, related to um, what you do so online marketing for instance and see what's happening in the industry um, you could even set up to search your competitors and see what they've got going on. So, And you can set up an no, unlimited number of these alerts, and you can always tweak these settings later if um, what you're getting isn't quite what you expected. So setting up a Google alert is a great way to automate this process and um, get some of that information to, delivered via email. Um, you, supposedly, you can also use Google Alerts to find new reviews. I've not had good experience with that where it doesn't necessarily see the review on the website unless they're using your company name in the, the actual review itself. It may not come up via alert. The best way to check online reviews 
at this point is just to do it manually. So you would go to um, a site like Yelp, search your company name, and see what comes up on there if you've got any new reviews. So as you can see, and you'll see here we've even got our correct address with the Yelp and, and Moz for still wasn't seeing it. So as you can see, like I said, again, not 100% not accurate, but a good starting point. Um, because we don't have any reviews on here, we don't have anything to worry about. Um, but this would be something where you would look and see is if you do have a new review, you would want to read it and check to make sure. Reviews are a great way to make sure that you're delivering um, the experience that your clients expect um, and to be alerted if things aren't going as planned. Uh, if you do not want to take the time to manually pull up the dozen to 20 or so different sites that are out there and be manually tracking these reviews. There are some fantastic services, um, which we've got some information in our blog reviewing those that will help you to monitor those from a single dashboard. And that can be a huge time saver because you can imagine, as you see here, pulling up each of these sites each month where that might get a little tedious. I would recommend um, at least manually managing some of the big three. So that would be Yelp, um, Google, uh, paying attention to Yahoo, which does pull from Yelp, and then um, like a city search and as well as Merchant Circle because those are kind of the big four that people use. There are a lot of others out there, but those are the main ones um, and keeping those in your um, monthly search. So this would be something where you may just set aside an hour at the first of each month, Google the company name, do a quick Moz local search, um, as well as um, check those primary sites, look and see what's out there. If everything looks good, you're done for the month. Um, so that is how you manage your online reputation.